Welcome to Simply Sustainable, Atlas Copco's guide to improving the sustainability and profitability of your manufacturing process. Today we're doing something a little different. We're outside of the shop. We're gonna go visit a scrapyard to learn a little bit more about where the scrap from the manufacturing process ends up and what kind of impact it has. It's gonna take us a minute to get there. So let's roll out. Hey, Emily. Hey, Brian. Thanks for coming to visit me today. No problem. What do you have in store for us? Today, I'll be showing you around this pretty massive scrapyard. I don't know if you noticed, there's also one down the road that's pretty much exactly the same. That's a lot of scrap and a lot of material wasted during the manufacturing process. It really is. It's pretty tiring work, dirty work. Scrappy and I don't even want to be doing this work. You know what? I think I've got just the solution for you. Have you ever wondered how much scrap is in the world or how that impact your life? For example, the weighted average carbon footprint to produce one ton of steel is equivalent of driving from Detroit to Seattle and back. The minimum amount of energy required to melt a ton of steel is equivalent of driving from Detroit to Nashville. But what about you? Do you have too much scrap in your world? We can help. At Atlas Copco, we recognize the need to reduce the scrap in order to be more sustainable and reduce costs. My name is Paulo, and I'm here with Brian to show you how Atlas Copco's industrial location spot point, or simply ILS, can virtually eliminate errors in the assembly, which translates to reduce the scrap. Paulo, no errors? That sounds virtually impossible when you have so many product variants and places where assembly can go wrong. I mean, assembly can be really complex. How can ILS help resolve that? You're right, Brian. The assembly process is really complex. And errors can be both costly and wasteful. But to really answer how we can fix this, I think we need to talk about some of the ways incorrect assembly processes can lead to scrap material first. Let's look at some of the things that can go wrong. The first one is over-torquing. Over-torquing bolts can potentially cause many problems. Strip treads and broken bolts are obvious problems that lead to scrap. But have you ever considered the resistance of the material being joined if the bolt is too tight? The part could warp and misalign with other parts, causing fit issues later, or it could even crack. You mentioned over-torquing, but what about under-torquing? You're right, under-torquing is also a problem. Under-torque bolts may not provide adequate clamping force, compromising the structural integrity of the assembly. Dimensional inaccuracies and misalignments ultimately lead to scrapping if the product fails to meet dimensional or performance specs. A loose bolt could also lead to a leak in sealing applications, compromising functionality and reliability of a product. ILS tracks the tool location over the product and ensures the correct tightening strategy is selected based on that location. This way, we can be assured that the correct torque is being applied to the correct bolt. That sounds good, but what happens when the application has multiple bolts that need to be tightened? Yes, you're right. Most of the applications, in fact, have several bolts. Did you ever think about how not following the correct order when applying torque could affect the final product? Similar to incorrect torque on individual bolts, torquing the bolts in the wrong order can also cause a scrap. Problems like misalignment, warping, or uneven distribution of loads, I assume, those are all problems that could cause the part to become unrepairable and lead to scrap. You're correct. An ILS can be programmed to expect a certain sequence based on the process requirements and also ensure that no bolts are missed in that sequence. While tracking the location of the tool, it can also disable the tool from running if the position doesn't follow the expected sequence. This ensures the tool cannot apply torque to the part in the wrong order, avoiding causing the issues you just mentioned. By the way, we have a customer who recently had issues with under-torquing and tightening sequence, which led to significant amount of scrap. What kind of benefits did the customer see when implementing ILS? Yeah, in this application, by implementing ILS, the customer saved $10,000 a year. That's a huge boost to both sustainability and profitability. You got it. Scrappy, drop everything. Get this news to all the manufacturers who send their scrap to our yard. Hey, Emily. It looks like a lot has changed since I was last here. It sure has, Brian. It's been quite an eventful six months. 
The manufacturing industry was able to reduce their scrap so much that I was able to consolidate my scrapyard with another one down the road and finally open the business of my dreams, a dog grooming service. That's incredible. That sounds like a huge win for sustainability and for this little gal right here. It turns out reducing scrap can have a huge impact on the sustainability of your manufacturing process. For more sustainability tips just like this, join us for the next episode of Simply Sustainable.